All right, welcome everybody. This is uh, GTM, and today's uh, video lesson tutorial, we're going to be covering our Paz tool in Photoshop. Now I'm going to go ahead and launch up Photoshop. As you can see here, this is the image I'm going to work with, and I believe that is a uh, Elric. Uh, Elf, I'm sorry, uh, Edward Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist, which by the way is a great anime TV series. If you want to check it out, there's actually two of them. I believe it's the regular Full Metal Alchemist, and then they basically created another series called Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which I've yet to watch, but I do know it's on Netflix, and I did catch the first episode, and it looks really good. So, anyways, let's get on with our lesson tutorial here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take my background here. I'm just gonna double click it, and um, let's go ahead and name that uh, Edward Elric. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer and just drop it right under them or drag it under them. Alright, let's go ahead and just resize this. And, um, alright, now I'm going to I'm gonna get into my pen tool here. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, this image, I mean, it's somewhat white background. We can probably easily try to magic wand some of this. Problem is, you get different variations, different variations in these colored pixels. And they can tend to make things really messy. So, like, basically, um... You know all the all the pimps, all the pimps and players use um, you know the the pen tool here, and that's what you should use. Seriously. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So um, you know we're only gonna do part of this, and then I'll show you a, a later image that I have cleaned up. But you know, get your magnifying glass and really get in there. I'm gonna zoom up in there and and start my uh, pen tool and make sure you're on the layer that you're gonna cut out, and you know cut out the. Or lay the paths down on. So I'm on Edward Elric's layer. I'm going to click my first point. As you can see, I can move my pen tool, start a new point, hold it while holding down my mouse. I can actually adjust the curve of that pen tool. All right, now if I hold down Alt and if you mouse over the where you last click the point, you get that convex tool. And if you hold down your pen tool down here, you'll see you got convex convert pen to point tool you can delete anchors add points and so forth all right so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, reset that by uh, hitting in the last point and hitting all start a new point click here click hold down I'm gonna reset that come over here alt I want alt right here click here hold it down and I'm gonna hit my alt here Notice that when I'm zoomed in, I can hit my space bar and kind of pan around, which makes it a lot easier. Now, here's what I don't want you doing. I don't want you just kind of going and clicking. I mean, that's okay right there, but, you know, little, little clicks like that. Because next thing you know, you just got all these points, and it can get really messy. I don't want you doing that, so I'm control alt Z in. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just do part of this. Here, whoops, let me um, reset that. Let me go back. There we go. Let me reset that. Alright. Like, I'm only going to do a section and then we'll open up, uh, you know, we'll open up uh, another version that we have. Alright, now, um, Let's say I uh, went ahead and help and zoom out. Let's pretend that we actually went all the way around and got this one big chunk out. So I'm actually just going to continue that there. Come over here, come over here, and then close it off. Now from there, as you can see, we have our paths here. I'm going to go on my layers right here. Yeah, just tuck that under there. Let me close that one down. All right. Um, now, right here in our layers, we have it selected. I'm going to go to my Paths tab. You can see right there. And then you see the working path. I'm going to right-click, Make Selection. And, of course, you have your default settings, which you want to keep Feather at zero, Anti-Aliases checked, and the new selection. Just press OK. Now, from there, you can see we it turned it to our Marching Ants or you know our Marquee Tool. Now, you go back to your layers. And then you can just hit delete, and then there you go. You see we have taken care of that section right there. 
Now the interesting thing is if I let me control Alt Z with that march and and select right there, I can go select inverse and it deletes everything on the opposite side now. Pretty interesting. So very powerful tool, get used to it. Uh, now once again, you know, let's say, um, let me go back, select inverse. There we go, let me delete that. Now if I wanted to do a new, you know, cutout, all you gotta do is just re-click on the, you know, the layer again and restart the process. And then eventually, you know, you'll come up with this uh, great cutout PNG transparent graphic. And here we go. We have, um, where did I do it? Full metal one is what I called it. You get something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. All right. So here's uh, an image of uh, Edward Elric completely cut out. And, you know, with that being done, now we can take any kind of graphic image behind it, layer him up. I'm just going to put a gradient for now. You know, let's go with a different color here. There we go. So I have this uh, image here. And now at the same time, with him being a transparent graphic, we have so much more control and leadway with our custom brushes. So if I go to my custom brushes here, and I'll just grab any kind of random brush. I don't know. I'm just uh, let's see. I'll get some smoke brushes here, and let's go with white, I guess. Uh, let's try a different brush. Let's go with these. All right. I mean. You know, for now, you can actually create new layers, and then you have control of Oops. let me get uh, my brushes here. I forgot I picked a brush that has uh, scattering on it. There we go. Now, for example, now we can create new layers, and we have control if we want it in front of our image, or we want to create new layers and put you know, custom different color brushes behind our graph, you know, behind our um, cutout now. Same as well if I want to throw it right up in the front. So basically we have a lot of control. Alright, but what we're going to eventually do now is take our cutout graphics and import them into our uh, scene that we want to composite by uh, using like distort tools and and so forth all right I'm going to continue and show you uh, basically your distort tool now I'm gonna go ahead and hide these layers and I'm gonna go ahead and open up a, another image here and just gonna drop it right in so uh, let's go ahead and use um, I don't know, I'm just gonna use a simple one of a uh, Colonel Mustang and looks like Elric and some kind of drawing here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that in here. Remember, Control T, Control T to resize, or it's uh, Edit Free Transform. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scale this down a bit. Now, with our Distort tool, I'm gonna go ahead and name that, and I'll just call this uh, Mustang. By the way, because his name is Colonel. Whoops. Colonel Mustang, so we'll go Colonel uh, Mustang. Alright, now with this selected, I can go to uh, Edit, Transform, I'm sorry, Free Transform, no, it's Transform, yeah, and then it's Distort. Click that, and then obviously we get these uh, control, you know, these uh, tangents or whatever these pivots here, we can actually manipulate. If I grab those, I can actually distort our image. And if you hold down shift, it kind of locks it in place. And now you can see we get our image in a certain perspective. You know, this will work good for our, any kind of design. If like you're doing a uh, video game magazines uh, and you want like in-game graphics at a certain angle, or it could be any kind of graphic really. I mean, not just for that, but 
you know, I mean, what if I wanted to lay down text? I've seen some interesting things done with text and the distort tool. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and um, let me create some text here. And you know what? I'll use, uh, I'll just use white here. And let me click, uh, let me type in, I'll just use his name, Mustang. And let me highlight this in black so we can see. And let's uh, let's use a, a thicker font. How about this Vipinora I have? I'm gonna create the size. There we go. We'll use something like that. Now, let me take my Alt key here and Alt and tighten this up and space that out a bit and space that out. And let me space out the U slightly. Alright, now in order to uh, distort certain images or you know like your text you have to actually rasterize it. So in this case I'm actually gonna hold down all I'm gonna duplicate this and then I'm uh, gonna actually I'm gonna go control T hold down shift and flip it upside down and you know, I'll place that right there. Now with that being you know applied and I'm gonna select that now. Notice my transform or my yeah, transform my distorts grayed out because my text is not rasterized. So definitely gotta go to the the copy which is right here, right click it, rasterize type, and now I'll be able to damage it or distort it. So I'll go to edit, free, uh, transform, distort now, and now I can actually distort that text. You know, I'll even position it up a little bit. Maybe even take it further. You know, that'll be good for like, uh, you know, creating shadows or reflections. And of course, I can actually uh, probably bring down the opacity on that. And let me throw a white background behind all this. Create a layer. Just so you can see it clear. And you know, I'll bring down, let's see, I can bring down the opacity more. Oops, not on that layer, but this one. Or maybe even throw a gradient on it by uh, clicking on my layer styles. Let's go gradient overlay. And then, you know, I can probably change the angle here. And now we have somewhat of a, you know, like it's the shadows dissipating off. I can bring down the opacity a bit. or the scale of it or come over here and bring the opacity down a bit so yeah the store can work in uh, uh, a lot of different ways for your design and you'll see it as uh, we work on you know our lab too which will be our billboard design alright uh, so when it comes to our lesson plan too I want you to be able to use your path tool which is your pen tool cut out at least two graphics and create a billboard design based on your favorite anime or TV series of some sort. All right, hopefully these uh you know video lessons uh somewhat helped out and uh I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.